Hey, good afternoon. Map here, Map Investments, bringing you a post market recap here. What a crazy week. Um, I was extremely busy today. I had 66 trades. You can see here 66 fills. Um, 52 got canceled. I was busy. I didn't stop all day. Um, did good. Uh, up for the week. Can't complain. And uh, been been really active the past uh, month, a lot of trades. Um, today I was up. Let me look here on my my phone. Three point zero three percent. So beat the average, uh, beat the S and P, which was up one point three six. So yeah, really good day. Um, big big issue with Carvana. Look, I was looking at the. The headlines, Carvana stock posts worst day ever as outlook darkens for used car market. I'm in the used car market. I, that's what I do for a living. I sell used cars to dealers, and it's extremely, extremely slow um, right now. And uh, Carvana's market, well, Carvana, if I'm not mistaken, lost, I want to say it lost like, Heavy day, seven, 70 million shares. 36% of the float is short. Betting that the stock is going to go down. Market cap is under a billion dollars. Uh, I want to say they lost, two, my friend was telling me, 285. So they lost $2.67 on sales of three point almost 3.4 billion dollars which were under the estimates of Wall Street and if they lot if they have a hundred million shares and they lost 267 per share yeah so they lost basically 285 million dollars roughly um, and that is that is bad because I mean I think they're losing a billion dollars a year so they lost 267 here 235 here 289 here a dollar seven here that is bad really really bad you know I heard a guy yesterday on CNBC it sounded it was interesting concept he said that eBay should buy Carvana that eBay should buy Carvana and that was interesting because you have three main uh, you have three main auctions in this country you have Mannheim which is owned by Cox Automotive which are the guys that own uh, uh, Auto Trader Mannheim um, I think they own TBS. They're, they're, they're like they're like one of the richest families in uh let me see Cox family net worth. So sixteen billion, but uh, that was in two thousand fourteen. They they, they these guys are heavy heavy hitters they they own a lot of they own a lot of stuff they're they're big time big time money big time big time no joke I was trying to see what what so they so what is this from this is from says estimated worth 41 billion they own and run Cox Enterprise, Cox Communication, Cox Media, and their big auto trader and the Mannheim website. Mannheim, the auction. But then you also have Adessa, which is car. Symbol car, I think it was. Let's see. Car. Uh, they're worth 1.6 billion. Um, but but Mannheim, Mannheim bought a part of their business. Um, Carvana buys Adessa USA from Car Global. Car Carvana reports purchase of Adessa U.S. physical auction business from Car Global. So I guess Car Global is going mobile. And who are the mobile players? So you have also. ACVA, ACV auctions. They these guys are worth 1.2 billion. They they're mobile. 
they go to your dealer or they go to your to your rental car or whatever and they take pictures of the car and they put them on their web on their website and that's what car does now Mannheim I think does both but Mannheim has physical the, the Cox family has the physical locations and this is what uh, Carvana did they bought these Odessa physical locations so the guy at CNBC was talking about it saying that eBay should buy Carvana and remember eBay has eBay Motors I thought it was I, I I thought it was pretty interesting, like match, from what he was talking about. Um, so you got eBay Motors here. So maybe e, eBay is gonna get into, to if if that does materialize. I, I thought it was a great idea to maybe running cars through Odessa's auction and selling on on their platform. Maybe who knows? Um, obviously, me being a contrar uh, contrarian. I did some put credit spreads in, in uh, Carvana. I got filled. Um, go to this account. So I did. I had the 10 and 12, December 2nd. I did another one today. I did the 750 and 50 for 73 cents. So I got two positions in Carvana. See if it bounces back. Um, for those that don't know what a put credit spread is, so the one I did today is you're buying one put and buy, you're selling one put and buying another one for protection. So what I did was you short because remember I, I I sell options. I'm not a, a buyer of options. For the most part, I sell them. So I did a put vertical, and you go to go. I'm, I'm using the Tasty Work platform here for illustration purposes. My computer's been slow today like crazy. Maybe I, maybe I traded too much and broke it. It's a joke. Uh, December 16th. So I did December 16th. We go to over expiration and we're going to go to December 16th. And I did this right here for a dollar. Well, I did. I collected probably less. Actually, no, I did 755. I'm sorry. 750. So I bought this, I sold the 750 and I bought the five for protection. Uh, right now it's 82 cents and I got 73 cents. So I'm getting shafted. I'm losing. But that's a trade I did. I put credit spread in Carvana. Um, I did many trades today. Um, and we'll touch base on the futures and then I'll call this video a wrap. And I'll probably do many more videos. I want to keep this one under 10 minutes. And I wanted to talk about Carvana and the used car market. The used car market is is it's really, really dropping. Um, I, I saw a lot of cars, and I've been very slow. Um, and I've talked about the interest rates. The interest rates on a used car right now, more or less, if you have decent credit, based on what the Internet says, I'm sure there's ways around it. It says 10 percent and that's pretty that's pretty that's high so like a twenty thousand dollar car with like let's say two thousand uh, dollar uh down payment you're roughly like 380 to 400 bucks on a used car so that's pretty insane um the the dollar got destroyed today i mean destroyed um when i tell you destroyed it got destroyed down almost two percent down 217 now we're back down to that 110 there's been some big gyrations in the dollar if you watch my video uh videos you saw that the dollar was at 110 went back to 112 113 and now i mean look at this back down and and today was a telltale because um so so the 10 year was up four bips dollar got killed so all foreign, foreign currencies were up bitcoin got a bid to 860 oil Oil up. Oil was up today. Five percent. That just is—it's insane. I mean, I have a lot of oil. Like, if you if, if, if you check out some most of my my winners here, um, like WTI, I'm up twenty five hundred. Uh, INSW, they they do shipping of of oil and gas fifteen hundred. Um. Halador, Halador is more of coal, fourteen hundred. Bore, another driller, thirteen hundred. 
OBE, another Canadian uh, oil producer, 1300. Um, a lot of oil names, to name a few. So, so yeah, big, big move in oil. Now, S&P now, SMP was all over the place. It was negative. It was up. Look at this chart. This is the day chart. A05 back down to 37.20 to back to 37 plus 80. That finish it, it's just crazy. Up 1.29 percent on the day. Great trading for folks that traded the the futures. Gold, gold up a whopping 53 dollars over three percent. I love gold. I love silver. I did a funny, funny. You know, I'm trying to grow a channel. Uh, you know, I'm pretty. I'm in my mid 40s, so I think if you know, I see people monetizing YouTube and doing well with it. You know, why not me? I'm I'm a smart guy. I know about markets. I know how to do spreads. I can teach the audience, not regurgitate the news, but you know, give give a benefit out to the folks that subscribe and listen. So share it if you can. Help me grow the channel. Um, but I did a short on a Miami Heat game. You know. I think the video that I've done in, over the past couple of years, I've probably been doing this a year plus, more or less. I did one video, and it had like a 1,000 views. That's the most views I had. So it was kind of funny. I, I took a, uh, a, 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 a YouTube short of the Miami Heat game, and I posted it. You know, whatever. It was a game winner by Hero, which, by the way, if you look at the footage, it traveled. And I do agree with some of the people that commented there. Um, and that thing got, in the first half hour got over 2,000 views on that YouTube short. So I'm kind of implementing some YouTube shorts and I talked about gold on one of them. You got to keep them a minute. So, you know, I did that today. Having fun with the YouTube, trying to grow a channel. Copper. Copper up. And, you know, and I'm, I'm so pissed off that I didn't get into copper. I've been looking at copper. Copper was up 8% today. Copper. Just crazy. Crazy moves today. I mean, I haven't seen moves like this in a while. And these are commodities. And they didn't they didn't come back down. They, it, they stayed up there all day. Net gas up 49 cents, 8%. Palladium and platinum, 60, 40. Silver up 7.5%. You know, I love it. I, I'm a big lover of silver and gold. Especially, you know, physical precious metals for inflation hedge. Uh, the grains, they were all up, corn up a little bit. The biggest one was soybeans. And, and, and those were the futures for today. Now, I'll be doing more videos because I had 63 trades. I, I had a very profitable week. And since I've been engaged and I got back into the, to the game, because I wasn't really trading a lot because the used car market was blowing up. I was selling hundreds of cars every month and doing well. So I just focused on my job. But it's been slower. And if I'm a man of two, you know, two dimension, two skills, you got to hustle. If you have a couple games, go at it. So anyways, I hope you like the video. Subscribe. Hit that like button, that subscription button, whatever um, you want to call it. Dialogue, you know, put some comments in the, in the section if you want to learn how to trade, if you're looking at position or something. Uh, by all means, shoot it over. And I'll probably do some more videos on the trades that I did. I mean, I, I did 63 fills. I mean, I got into JD, Funko, Chewy, MGM, DocuSign, Lyft, Baidu, Amat, a bunch of Chinese names that were up. Um, I was shorting a lot of stuff today. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to play both, both, uh, both, uh, both ways, up and down. Just to wrap it up, like if you go back this week, uh, it's not going to tell me on, so seven days, so let me get my calculator. This week, oh, wait, oh, let me take Carvana now. So this week in this account, I had, let me add it up here, 224 trades in this account this week, seven days. Well, seven days, no, I mean, there's only five days, but it goes back last week. But you know what I mean. I didn't have anything in this one. And in this one, I have five. So I did 230 trades. Crazy. 
I'm tired. It's Friday. Um, but yeah, man, it keeps it keeps the mind occupied. Um, we have the Dow Jones up 390 here in the after hours. They don't close till five. We got 15 more minutes, and then they mark to market. Anyway, stay safe. Have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll probably do. I'll be doing some more stuff uh, uh, as the day goes along. Bye bye.